Hey guys, oh, welcome back. I wanted to share some footage with you today that was taken on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I took these video clips and photos on November 2nd, 2021. Right now the photo you're seeing, we're at the base of the Peaks of Otter. If you were to climb to the top of that mountain, it is called Sharp Top Mountain. And it is a very well-known hike around here. Beautiful sights but it is definitely a hike. <laughs> um, so we were just out driving. This was actually the day before my surgery and I just kind of wanted to clear my mind and it had been raining all day, but we finally got a little bit of a clear view and we were able to go out and enjoy it. And I am so thankful that we did. I am a very spiritual person and I feel connect it to God the most when I'm in nature, especially in the fall. So this was just what my little heart needed. I'm going to tell you some fun facts about the Blue Ridge Parkway that I've gotten off of the Blue Ridge Mountain Travel Guide. One of my goal road trips, dream road trips, one of them would be to do the Blue Ridge Parkway in its entirety. The Blue Ridge Parkway is, approx is approximately 469 miles between Cherokee, North Carolina and Waynesboro, Virginia. It says that um, it could take you 15 hours to drive the Blue Ridge Parkway straight through but of course you have countless overlooks, waterfalls, and other attractions along the way that will definitely make you want to stop and see the sights. Most of the pictures that you see in this video were taken at overlooks. There are various places on the parkway that I just absolutely love and have a tendency to go there to clear my mind. So we can kind of the parkway in different sections here. Um, there's probably four, I think, different ways to get to it and, and ride on it. So it, it's a lot of fun. Let's see here. It says the parkway typically receives around 15 million annual visitors, the majority of which visit in the summer and during the peak fall colors in autumn. We were pretty close to peak week on November 2nd when we went. I was actually kind of surprised that there was still as many leaves on the trees as possible. Or not as possible, but as there was. Because in the valley, more where we live, a lot of the trees were already bare. Of course, you're going to hit some fog up there which is no fun. One thing I like too with the Blue Ridge Parkway, especially up near the Peaks of Otter, being at such a higher elevation, when you have cold nights, um, the trees will have a tendency to ice over, but the roads are clear and it just literally looks like a winter wonderland. It is so beautiful. I'm gonna try to go up this year and take a look at it and see if I can get some footage of that for you guys. I have pictures, but it's from a very long time ago. The videos and the pictures taken in this video were taken on an iPhone SE, so nothing fancy, which was kind of frustrating because I can tell you the views were so much prettier in person and to be 100% honest with you, I don't feel like I've really ever seen a picture of the Blue Ridge Parkway or of a lot of things in life when it comes to nature that truly does an area or a site justice. So this was just... There were parts that were very breathtaking and we were just so happy to go. 
The Blue Ridge Parkway was originally known as the Appalachian Scenic Highway. It was created as part of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal, which was designed to create jobs and improve infrastructure after the Great Depression. At this point, we are turning into the Jefferson National Forest. There's only a little bit of video footage of this because it is all a gravel road and so it was very very bumpy but it definitely holds some beautiful beautiful views and it was actually an accident uh, when I stumbled across this road many many years ago thank you guys so much for watching this video with me I hope you enjoyed these pictures and videos